Well, in the building behind me here at the UW Virology Lab, scientists are working around the clock to soon be running as many as 4,000 COVID-19 antibody tests in a single day. UW Virology is now testing people to see if they've ever had the coronavirus. The test identifies antibodies in a person's system. So we're looking for the antibodies that the body makes when it has been fighting off this virus. Your doctor would order the test, take a sample of your blood, and send it off to the UW Virology Lab. So if you're sick now, you need the test that looks for the virus. Um, this test is most useful to identify those people who have had the infection previously and are better. Knowing who has had the virus will help in understanding how it spreads, but also another important question in the medical field right now. Can people who already had the coronavirus catch it again? In other viruses, these antibodies are protective. Uh, you won't get reinfected. The genetic diversity of this virus is limited currently. But clearly, just from doing this test, we don't have know the answer to that question definitively. But this will be the test that allows us to generate that data to understand um, those important questions. Using the data from these tests, scientists turn to creating a vaccine. What's next is really turning the tables on this virus, coming up with therapies for the people who are infected now, and ideally coming up with a vaccine that's going to prevent uh, people from getting infected in the future. Going on right now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No. The, some of the trials have already started. Many of the trials have already started, and even more under development. Um, and we're receiving samples in the lab right now from from these trials. Now, UW Virology officials say the people that should be tested for this, have this antibody test done, are those frontline workers like EMTs, police officers, grocery store workers, so they can have a better understanding of their risk level of still catching the coronavirus. Live in Seattle, Kayla Lafferty, King 5 News.